Hey guys, it's Ian from Batman Batgirl, back at you with another video review. And today I will be doing a video review of Transformers Generations Legends Class Autobot Gears and Autobot Eclipse. That's the last I'm going to forward them as Autobot Gears and Autobot Eclipse, they're just Gears and Eclipse now. Because... Yeah. Right, so first let's look at the card they come with. Like in this nice little card here. Uh, yeah, look at the, the bio. Put these two Autobots in an outpost and nothing will get past their watch. You just might not want to join them while they're at it. Autobot Gears is always grumbling about something, even if there's nothing actually going on. Autobot Eclipse might be his perfect partner. He barely speaks at all. His microprocessors are too busy computing everything that could possibly go wrong. His doomsday, his doomsday scenarios could keep Autobot Gears going for hours, training his infrared sensors on any hint of an enemy signal. Look at their stats, we can see that they both got uh, decent courage, well, yikes, Gears has decent courage and strength, he's not that smart or fast, he got some good endurance, rather low rank, uh, fire blast, and skill's pretty bad, wow, what? Gear had def better skill than that, I think, from what I remember, I don't know, from what I remember in the show, he had a better skill than three, anyway, Eclipse is made up, so I can't really say anything about that, uh, he's got an intelligence of ten, Wow, he's like freaking Wheeljack level. Okay. He's really slow for a fighter drone space jet thing. Why does he have a higher rank than Gears when he's just a... It's, this has to be random. Legit. Anyway. So, who cares about that? Anyway, it has a nice picture of Gears on the front. Anyway, so here we have Gears and Eclipse in their vehicle modes. Right, so we've got... At Eclipse. Eclipse is a little bitty space drone, fighter jet drone thing, I think. There's like no pilot, so I'm thinking here it is, or maybe it's supposed to be a spaceship. Got two nice little Autobot symbols there. It's a very nice little thing. I, um, here it is alongside the rest of the Autobot guys. At least these are the ones they have. I do not have Tailgate or Swerve or Cosmos, so I don't have Payload, um, Ground Buster, and the other one. The other one, because I don't remember their names. But this is the ones I have. Here he is next to Roller. Therefore, roll bars will look roughly the same. And here he is with the other flyer guy, Blaze Master. Well, I am planning on getting Swerve and Tailgate soon. And Cosmos. Anyway. Here he is. Almost grabbed the wrong Here he is with the two enemies. Waspinator. And uh, Chop Shop. Chop or whatever. I don't even know what he's called. Alright, then the transform is got a very complicated transformation, which is actually pretty true for these guys. You fold his wings back, and then you fold the cockpit back, and then you stand him up, and you fold his arms forward. I joke, but it's actually rather complicated considering the complication of most of these guys. He has a rather nice detail. I like his face. I like the face on this guy. If we could focus. Don't focus on my hand. Focus on the toy. Camera. Oh. Right. We did that. It's good enough. I'm sorry for the camera quality. Um, so here he is. Next to the rest of. The Autobots. On such a scale. These all are together with their leader roller. You heard that? That was Onision. You should go check out these extra videos. Pay attention to his mornings though. You, you might be offended. Here he is next to the Decepticon. Gun buddies. And finally, here he is in his gun mode. Now to transform in his gun mode, um, you pretty much have it complete here. You want to go ahead and do this, turn him into robot mode, and then you want to grab these two, he's got these two um, things um, next to his head. You see these little up things that go up? You want to stick your finger down, you want to grab that, and then you want to fold that down. And that's going to reveal this. You want to pull this up, kind of like fold it accordion it up, and then just kind of shove it there, and then you're going to have his gun. And then you just want to pull his peg, this peg out, which can be a bit... 
Alright, and then there you have his gun. And I say this is one of the better, if not the best, gun I have so far. Like I said, I don't have all of them, so I'm not comparing it to, um, say, a reflector. Although, having seen pictures, I don't like it. I, have a, I can't compare it to Cosmos' gun, because from what it looks like, Cosmos' gun is the other great gun. So I can't compare it to that as of now. But from the guns I've seen, this is definitely pro the best. Out of the ones I have, for sure. It does look like a real... This le legitimately looks like a gun that would just be a gun, nothing else. Nice little kind of thing. Uh, here he is next to, you guessed it, the Autobot guns. First we've got him next to Blade Master. The other good gun, the, the previous best gun, and the second best gun I would say out of the ones I own because it looks like an actual nice little blaster. Ironically, that the guys who don't have their own guns are the ones with the better gun modes. I mean, think about it. Out of the guys I have, the only two that don't come with their own guns are Gears and Bumblebee, who both also have to have target masters who happen to have the best gun modes. Here he is next to Roller, and therefore, by consideration, Roll Bar. I'm not going to show him with Roll Bar because they look the same and are too lazy. I'm just kidding. I'll probably show him with Roll Bar. Actually, you know what? No, I won't, because I said so. Yet again, this kind of looks big, clunky, and a little ugly. This does not. Although I actually like Roll Bar as a gun for Cliff Jumper because it fits, since Cliff Jumper is always pulling big guns out of his exhaust pipe. And here he is next to the Decepticon gun and the Decepticon... Thing. I really don't know what choppers, chop, chopper, chop strop supposed to be, but here he is compared to these two guys. Got him next to Waspinator's gun thing, which is kind of ugly. And you got him next to Chopper's chop chop claw thing. Whoosh. Whoosh. Put those aside. Move on to Gears. Alright, so here we have Gears, the main figure, the main meal, the steak, or if you're a vegetarian, which you know I support, you should be a vegetarian. Vegetarians are awesome. Um, and I don't know, the main meal, your freaking Alfredo, fettuccine, whatever. This is your main course. This is why you bought this set. I mean, if you bought this for Eclipse, you're crazy. I, mean, I don't really care why you bought this set. I think you, you're, you, never mind. You bought it for years. Forget my rambling. Anyway, so here you have him in car mode. He looks really nice. Now, it's a little darker blue in person than it's showing up on my camera. It's not quite this light. Um, it's... Uh, let's see, is it? Is, is that... Is that... Is that... I can't find a way to show you the shade. Anyway, he's a little lighter. He's a little darker than... The red and blue are a little darker than uh, this is showing. But they're still rather light. Uh, here's the car mode. He has all that. Looks nice. Uh, he looks really nice, too. I like this. This is what I would want for a classic Gears. It looks really nice. like A lot like the uh, G1 Gears is alt mode. A little updated. Sorry about that. Uh, stuffy nose. This is... This is really just a repaint with a new head, a uh, minor change, redo of a swerve, which is funny because this alt mode fits gears better than swerve, I would say. But that's just because when I look at swerve, especially with the swerve they used, it's obvious they were going for the more than meets the eye swerve, which has a Cybertronian alt mode as of now. Whereas this guy. While he is in more than meets the eye, I don't really think we've seen his alt mode, and if we have, it was a very short period of time. And when you get him, you get him more for classic G1 gears, and this is better for that. But, you know, I'm not complaining. I, I love this guy. So, to go ahead and transform him, first thing you're going to want to do is... Hold on, let's do that, yeah. Whoosh. Whoosh. Okay. Whoosh. Okay. And then, yeah. Okay, so first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to grab the back end of this truck V thing, and then just fold it out, because these are his legs. And in the process, they're probably going to split apart. But if they don't, then just pull them apart. And so there you've got Gears' legs. Let 
let's raise the camera. Back. And so then what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to unpeg these arms from the side of the car. Fold them down. Push the body in and then fold this. Now you're gonna have him in robot mode. I'm probably gonna end up editing all this out, but just in case I don't, you know, maybe I will. Maybe I'll let you guys see me fumble around with technology trying to make. Alright, this, there we go. So here we have gears in robot mode, and. Overall, I say he looks really nice. He does have, you know, some considerable changes, I'd say, but I still think he looks really good, and I think he's a great Gears. Um, of course, you can't be too picky. The only thing Gears we've gotten that's nice in G1 is uh, G1. So, first, let's take a look at his head skull if I can get to focus. I'm gonna switch back to an old camera next time. Sorry about that, guys. I thought this would be better. Anyway, uh, yeah, he's got a nice head sculpt there. You can't really tell. Sorry about that. Um, got a nice Autobot symbol there. Uh, uh, he does look rather nice. There you go. There you get a good look at his Autobot and all that now. It's too close to get right. There we go. That's nice. Okay. So there is, there is his robot mode. He does look very nice, I'd say. And the back is nice, too. The, the backpack's rather small and not even really a backpack. You know, I, think I love the way he folds up. Now, for articulation, his head can move, um, look up to that degree because of transformation. But it's really not worth it because you have to fold that up to even access it and then to fold it back. So I just leave that alone. His arms are on ball joints, so they can rotate 360 degrees and they can angle up that much. Um, his elbows are also articulation, so you can bend them at, at, on ball joints, so you can bend them at 90 degrees. But you can also rotate him at the elbow. No hand articulation. His legs are on ball joints, so you can get him doing um, splits because we all know Gears loves doing splits in the G1 cartoon. I mean, he was the fun, happy, lucky splits guy. <laughs> no, he, he was grumpy and all, but you know, I don't know, maybe, maybe he's doing yoga and he's not so angry anymore. He can also do splits like this. Yep, that's it. He's doing yoga. That's why he's. That's why he's got so much flexibility in his legs. He, Bumblebee was all like, man, you shouldn't be so grumpy. He's like, you know what? I'm going to be more positive from now on. How are you going to be more positive, man? I'm going to do yoga. I hear it calms you. And now he's found his inner peace. You can get meditation. You can have Gears meditate. Oh, that is awesome. Oh. Oh. And then, because of our transformation, he legs can bend 90 degrees. So, this little guy has a huge, wide range of articulation. He looks really good. He's a great figure. And now, here he is next to... Payload's robot mode. And here he is with payload and gun mode, holding his little, his gun. And like I said, I love this as his gun. I think it works really well. Let's look at it. So, yeah, don't mess with gears, man. Alright, well that's just about it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Um... If you liked it, please say so in the comments or like this video if you enjoyed watching it. And until next time, hope you have a great day.